So here we go. My colleagues, I stand before you as Speaker of the House, as a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a devout Catholic, a proud Democrat, and a patriotic American, a citizen of the greatest republic in the history of the world. <laughs> Scripture teaches us that for everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. My friends, no matter what title you all, my colleagues, have bestowed upon me, speaker, leader, whip, there is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. And with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. Madam Speaker, standing here today, I'm endlessly grateful for all of life's blessings. For my Democratic colleagues, whose courage and commitment with the support of your families have made many of these accomplishments possible. In fact, could not have been done without you. And for my brilliant, dedicated, and patriotic staff, under the leadership of Terry McCullough, working together, the finest group of public servants the House has ever known. Thank you all so much. A new day is dawning on the horizon, and I look forward, always forward, to the unfolding story of our nation, a story of light and love, of patriotism and progress, of many becoming one, and always an unfinished mission to make the dreams of today the reality of tomorrow. Thank you all. May God bless you and your families, and may God bless, continue to bless our veterans and the United States of America. Thank you all so much.